Welcome, welcome, welcome to Kickstarter Radio 102.4, and today, WTF is the Infinity Game Table! Mm, I'm scratching my head here, and Lipstick Patty's giving me a funny look over there, so Lipstick, please, take it away. Okay, calm down, here we go. The Infinity Game Table! My arcade one up. Now, I don't care if it's got your classic board game package into this gaming table. I'm going to give you my thoughts on this and why I abhor digital board games. I've got a monster PC that I can play PC games sexed up to the hilt. The reason I play board games is to get away from my PC touch components, socialize, drink a beer with my friends and have fun. This table. Look at it. You're all looking down, touching the screen, molesting the screen like a mobile phone. And I hate mobile phones too. Oh my goodness me. Oh, well, we're going to go down and have a look at it anyway. <laughs> I just want to give you my, where I'm coming in on this Kickstarter because the whole thing is upsetting me instantly upsetting me right because if you go digital there is you're going into the different media you're going into video games I don't care you're going into a video games and video games have so much incredible stuff so do board games and when they come together it abhors me it rubs me up the wrong way and they've got this where you can play your Monopoly with your friend across the Atlantic, if you wish, across the pond. So it has online built in here. <laughs> oh! Yeah, I don't know if you feel the same way about this. Maybe th th you're getting pumped about this because you actually like gaming tables and all that stuff. Well, I'm coming down here, my team here know I hate this stuff, so that's why they made me do this. They got three three greens, and I thought I might as well give a green because of comedy reasons, because I want to see what this thing's doing, but if it's just doing classic board games, it's not got Tabletopia in here, at least, so you can bring your other games in here, and, uh, you know, because it's basically just a tablet, isn't it? A giant tablet as a table. Anyway, massive campaign. 45 days! Oh my god. And obviously, people are coming in. 380. This is live, not been too long, but it's blasted for its goal. How's it blasted for its goal so far with 380 backers? If you didn't know this, Kickstarter have changed their policy, so you cannot come in and change your pledge. You know, you can't come in as one backer and put a hundred thousand dollars in as your you know, support it with my own money. You've got like a maximum amount you can actually pledge for. So they they've got rid of that old I'm bidding for myself. So I don't think they're bidding for themselves. I just think this is expensive. Let's see how much it is. Five hundred dollars I, I guess it's cheaper than a television at that size. Comes preloaded with games you're not interested in. <laughs> Touch screen, yes. It says it's only 24 inch. It's like a 24 inch screen. What? Just, my monitor's 27 inch and what resolution is it at? Does it go bigger? Uh, you can get it with legs, so it goes more expensive with legs. And it comes with a battery, so you can move it around. Oh. And uh, why would you just need two table legs? Okay, it's, a, it's like a big leg. Oh, you can get it bigger. All right, so it goes 32 inch. I guess that 24 inch one is tiny. It's like a coffee table. And um, uh, why are you paying a thousand dollars? There's people in here. Why are you paying that? 
What are you getting for that? A letter from the CEO. And you join the Founders Club. Alright, and uh, you can get double of them. And um, there was an early bird for the big tables. And they've all gone, so all that jazz. Mm, noise, there's noises going on here. Apologise for any noises. One to six players. Wi-Fi enabled. 50 games. Download endless games. Now, is there going to be a shop? Are you going to have to pay for these? Or are they download free games? Mm -hmm. What prices are they going to be? Just say they're partnered with Hasbro. So potentially this is going to be paying top retail price for these you're not going to get any sales or anything like that maybe we'll say that much going in i'm trying to give it a fair shake here guys i go down on peeps i'll say peeps tactile feedback i mean the mouse and keyboard is tactile feedback but it's not like it feels like you're touching physical components mm. Coloring books. It's going beyond its even genre here. You see, it's just a big phone with an app. We're using layers of immersion through 3D animation and graphics. Mm -hmm. Well, are those people playing Magic the Gathering? Have you played Hearthstone online? Have you played Magic the Gathering online with all those special effects and all that? I mean... You know, are you selling your card collection because it's now online? It, oh, I hate the fact that they've merged. I hate this thing. I really do hate it. Mm -hmm. Because those people that are play that are video game people that are playing Hearthstone, that does not encourage them one bit to play a card game on a board table. You know, on a table, a board game. No. <laughs> Yep, you'd hope it was water resistant, yeah. Impact resistant. So you, you're not like um, throwing the table, the board game off the table here. You're just going to slam the table. Um, high res screen, not telling us how much res is in the screen. No FAQ. It does play music. As you'd expect, it's a phone, a big phone, big TVs, touchscreen. You know, touchscreens have a little bit lost the popularity, so I imagine they're getting these because they're flogging them off cheap. Now, that might be me just making a bit of fun here, but I'm just saying, you know, it's, it's fairly cheaper than a TV. And um, indie game developers can create new content here, so... Hopefully you'll get away from the insulting games like Monopoly and Trivial Pursuit. Oh. Look at this, they're advertising the fact you get Battleship and Scrabble. Are you kidding me? I used to see these back in 1980, by the way, and they had actual tactile joysticks and buttons and stuff, and you could actually play video games in a table format, but it never caught on. <laughs> I mean, look, it looks fairly small here around that one, doesn't it? Look, they're all, look at them all smiling, playing Monopoly, they're all actors! And the playing across the internet here. Look how exciting is that. And I love the fact that the board is a little bit... Why couldn't they extend it? Why is it not a wide a wide version of Monopoly? This square that they've kept to all these years. Ugh. I wish Monopoly had updated itself with like events and stuff that was happening. Political events or earthquakes and things as you were playing. Like some kind of action oriented monopoly but it's just the same with every skin or oh. 
Now we've got Pandemic on here. And, oh man, this would be perfect though, wouldn't it? If you had a legacy game here. Anyhow. Shoots and ladders. Shoots and ladders. Connect 4. I mean, come on, you're going to play Connect 4 on a digital... Oh, and Hungry Hippos. These are, that's a dexterity game. <laughs> you, you're seriously going to play Dominoes online. It's like you're an 85-year-old in the library <laughs> whose house has burnt down and you've got to go to the library and the only way you can get your Domino fix is to go online and play it. This is very sad. A comic book. Look, it's changing genre here. Look at this stuff painted. It's just a massive phone. Please put in the comments why you think this is great. Are you are you in the same boat as me? This stuff abhors you. You abhor this. I mean, look at that jigsaw puzzle. Holy smoke. Jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> this potentially was at Gen Con or Essen, right? This wasn't initially meant for this. Now look, IGN, they are a huge corporate website for video games. And all they've got from them is the announcement of it. They've not even got like a testimonial of these people using it. <laughs> This is not worth coming on your Kickstarter of press announcing what you've got. <laughs> Here are some things that have been written about it. You can go to PC Mag. PC Mag don't even do games primarily. You want to go to PC Gamer Magazine if you want to go to that stuff. That's GameSpot. They're focused and IGN is focused. So... Why don't they put a little bit of testimonial here? Why have you got to go to a third party site to see what they're saying? So look, it's trying to hit the mainstream here. We've got all this other mainstream um, things. Up there. The Wendy Williams Show. Who are you? Why we built it? Why indeed? Why would you want to connect this beautiful look at this for ingenuity? That looks amazing. Look, what they want to get rid of components is what they're trying to say. <laughs> oh. Connect with people's miles away. Oh, oh my God. No lost pieces. That's not a thing for me. Figuring out the score. I don't mind doing that at the end. Wasting time re reading and memorizing the rules. I don't think the games they're putting on there have like rules and stuff that are going to be difficult. It's not like it's a big Kickstarter with a 50-page manual. Yeti in my spaghetti. On the Look at this. It's just retail heaven here. Can I spot a kickstart? Look, even Cards Against Humanity, that just shows you the type of shelf this shelfie this is. <laughs> Look at the top shelf, not for kids, Jenga. Are you kidding me? Rock'em, sock'em, what the heck is that? Oh man, I tell you, I've not been in a retail shop and looked at the retail spaces here. Uh, maybe walk past Walmart, but I didn't take much interest in it. And they've got some Raven Burger jigsaw puzzles. We are a hundred million light years away from Kickstarter here. Why are they showing this picture? Running out of places to store all those game boards. They're asking the Kickstarter people. <laughs> are you kidding me? IKEA's just come to Mexico. I'm going to be getting some shelves in the in the new year when they deliver to the state mm -hmm. they're not delivering outside of mexico city at the minute but you know fingers crossed 2021 because i've got like 16 kickstarters coming and i have no shelf space <laughs> so it's like it's like a race 
I don't care if you're late, Kickstarter games. I'm waiting for these shelves to come and get delivered here. Otherwise, you're just going to be in this, um, I don't know, stacked on the floor. Oh, man. I don't want to do that. That's just as bad, isn't it, as the, you know. Anyhow. So there is going to be indie games. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that's probably whoa, the appeal of an indie game is going on here. But, you know, pfft. So, no mention of bringing in Tabletopia. Look at this box. The thing's huge. It has, it has space for your legs as well. Like, if someone invites you around for a game night, right? They invite you around for a game night and you get this table the 32 inch screen we don't know the resolution of it are you going to be happy that it's on this oh. here we go it's 1080p so it's like a tv touch screen mm, it's using android so it's like a phone it's got 16 gigabytes of memory Two gigabytes of RAM. That's really low, isn't it? It is a phone. It's like a phone. <laughs> and 16 gigabytes on your phone. Are you kidding me? What's the standard on a phone at the minute? Is it like 64 meg? Maybe the 128 me uh, gigabytes on your phone. Sorry, gigabytes. Is it 128 gigabytes? Is that becoming the standard for memory? So this is a light light years in the past and 2.4 gigabyte wi-fi we are that is old source that my friend 60 hertz widescreen and uh, that that would be okay at 24 inch but that is bad at 32 isn't it you could at least have gone quad hd here <gasps> That's just a 1080p at that size. You're going to be seeing giant pixels. The quality of that's going to be horrendous. In 2019, they got the idea. They took it to Hasbro in October, prototype. Then in January, COVID happened and they came to Kickstarter. Oh... Um, stretch goals, we've got stretch goals. Oh my god, they have stretch goals. They're calling them perks. You're gonna get guess who? The excitement down here. Oh my goodness. Ouija. A Ouija stretch goal. That's a highly demonic board game. Can the spirits, can the demons move? <laughs> that would be funny, was it? What did it? If the spirit can move the letters on a Ouija board, this can surely press the <laughs> the screen. Oh, it's terrible, isn't it? What? Look, you've, look at these stretch goals. From half a million to a million, they've got high hopes, this team. And then the two million for the next one, it's going to cost them a million. Look at this. Clue comes at the two million stretch goal. Holy Mary and... Oh. <laughs> like, th they didn't even contact the main digital board game apps out there. That's outrageous, isn't it? Yeah. All right, peeps. It looks poo poo. It really does. I mean, <laughs> I honestly don't care. I would only recommend it if these things happened. One, it had a big resolution, so you didn't see pixelated art. Secondly, it should at least have your app, so you can bring Tabletopia in here and run your Tabletopia games in here. And... That's about it.
Mm -hmm. And they've not shown us what the shop's going to be like, the app that's in here to do that. And if it's got Wi-Fi, can you not just download Steam and get Tabletopia on it? <laughs> mm. You want to get into the comments here or ask them in the FAQ. If you're kind of wanting something of this category of gaming table. <laughs> Anyway, peeps, you know my opinions on this. I abhor everything about digital board games. I hate it. And when you've got a world of incredible video games out there and you show me this thing, because at the end of the day, it's competing for that digital time and I, I break away from my computer because I'm working all day on my computer to go board gaming because it's analog. Yeah. So there you go, peeps. Have they still got Black Lives Matter on the Kickstarter thing? Oh my God, is that that is not a thing that's still going on, by the way. It's that's kind of finished its pro, its campaign. Does racism really exist? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Is Donald Trump a racist? Of course, he's not. You stupid. Everyone's stupid. <laughs> who who are the coloured people? The white people, apparently. The white people are now called coloured people. And the black people are just black. In the UK, if you call someone a brown person, that's racist, by the way. So, you Americans, pick which one you want to use. Blacks is English, British. What we got you to here? Black Lives Matter Kickstarter. I can't wrap this up, peeps. I don't like it. Anyway, if you've got this so far in this video, thank you so much for tuning in. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up if you wish. Um, yeah, you've been listening. <laughs> you've been listening to Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I've been your host, Lipstick Patty. You take us, stay safe, and bye bye for now.